Christina. All right, awesome. Hey everybody, welcome to Monday Night Live. We're so, so excited about this call tonight because we have some special guests and that would be some of our husbands. So we want to share with you, and this is by popular request, just FYI. Um, I don't know if the husbands know this or not, but we had a lot of people asking for us to do this call, to bring our husbands on here and so that they could share about their own experience with Plexus and their wives building this business and what built their belief and what's changed over time for them and things like that. So we have my husband, Mr. Wonderful. You could call him Anthony if you want to. He, he does answer to Mr. Wonderful. Um, and we have Christina's husband, Brandon. Say hi, Brandon. Hi. Be warned. <laughs> and then we have Michelle's husband, Stooch. We call him Stooch for short. His name's actually James. <laughs> but don't call him James because, listen, when people call him James, we're all like, you must Stooch? not know Stooch like we know Stooch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then we have April's husband, Adam. Hi. Hey, hi, Adam. Hello. And then we have Abby's husband, Brian. Hello. Which I don't think I've met, Brian. Hey, Brian. How are you? All right, so we're going to get started. So how this is going to go is I'm just going to ask a question, and then we'll just go around and let each husband have a chance to answer each question, and then you guys get to hear the progression of um how their journey has gone. Okay, so we'll just jump right in. So I'm Brittany Howard, I'm Diamond Ambassador. This is my husband, Anthony. Um, so first question is, what did you think when your wife first started her Plexus business? Should I go first? You go first, yeah. Okay. Well, my initial thoughts was it was like the many other avenues of side hustling income that she was trying to bring in. Burn. Um, I mean... <laughs> We were a single income family um, by choice. She chose to stay home and take care of our kids and educate them, which left the financial responsibility with me primarily. And she, as with other endeavors, uh, wanted to also be a blessing financially still. And so when she came to me with Plexus, I was thinking, well, it's another avenue that she wants to choose to pursue. Um, and uh, let's see how it goes. Um, no real high hopes. Um, of any kind of you know major success but you know basically some extra spending money i'm gonna take that in the nicest way possible <laughs> i think he's trying to say he didn't think i was going to be a diamond or anything Is that what you're trying to say? i'm just saying i didn't have much hopes for the business or anything like that so he probably thought what i thought that people at the top are just special people and, and we weren't special people okay brandon how about you what did you think when christina first started this all right, so I have a fault in this whole uh, thing here because Anthony is going to say the most intelligent stuff possible, <laughs> and then I have to follow him, and I just don't think it's Welcome fair. To, that's my life every day. Every day <laughs> I have to follow Brittany, so welcome to my life. I think on the well, next question, I get to go first. Well, at least you get to look good doing it. All right, cool. So, all right, my initial thoughts. Uh, Christina was a school teacher. Uh, she brought home seven dollars a month. <laughs> uh, so my whole thing was like, you know what? Every little bit counts. Uh, if you can make an extra twenty dollars a month, uh, we won't have to worry about putting gas in the car. So um, I was a little skeptical at first, of course. Just another thing that Christina, you know, another harebrained scheme that she wanted to do. But because I love her so much, uh, I was just like, cool, go with it, and uh, let's see what happens. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine that she would be bringing home $37 a month. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. But I was very skeptical, but I was good with it one way or the other because she, she uh, runs the household. So I wasn't allowed to say anything about it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Christina, we're so proud of that $37 girl. We are proud of that. Ballin'. Ball, All right, man. Dooch, how about you? What did you think when Michelle first started? Mine's a little different because uh, I only looked at it from the health perspective, and I knew her before she tried Plexus and after. It only it only took a, a week or two to see serious changes, serious improvements in her health, and that was that was good enough for me. I mean, I'm kind of 
I kind of just believe in substance, not flash. And so when I found, when I experienced that the products really worked for her, I knew it was going to be a success. You know, I, I believe in substance over salesman. And so since it, it worked for her, I believe it would work for other people. And that would be just augur really good things. Did I think she was going to be a, a dime or I didn't know what a diamond was at the outset, but did I think she was going to be making this much money? No, never. It was, it was just a relief anyway, because she had been homeschooling for seven years prior and I could, she, she burnt out after all that time. And, but Plexus immediately, the, the income she generated was enough to pay for tuition. And so anything over the top of that was just cherry, cherry on top. Awesome. I love that. <clears throat> all right, Adam, how about you? what did you think? Yeah, that meet me. All right. I was super skeptical. Uh, like it, we started out with mainly products. It wasn't the business right away. So uh, I am a budgeter. She might call me a tightwad, but uh, uh, we were on a budget after uh, just getting married a little bit afterwards. And we just, before the hurricane hit. And so we were on a tight budget with just getting stuff done, paying off stuff. And I was like, oh gosh, another expense. Uh, how are we going to do this? But I, I trust her. I mean, we had been married uh, for six years at the time. I trust her with whatever she did. So I let her, let her make the decision. Uh, very glad I did. Uh, and another thing too, was the health aspect, like Stitch said, uh, April's on an antidepressant. So that was a big thing. We we're just trying to figure out ways that we wouldn't rely on the doctor and just rely on and something else could just help. And so I was initially super skeptical, but it's, it's bit off in the long run, obviously. Awesome. Okay. Brian, how about you? All right. Well, I was uh, pretty skeptical at first. Um, Abby was teaching and I just thought if she added something on else, it would uh, be kind of too much. And um, I never, I didn't think she'd be like super successful. Like she is now. It's just been amazing to watch uh, for her to work with her sister is just incredible. Um, you know, at first I was kind of annoyed with her being on her phone that much, especially when I was like driving or like hanging out with her at night, but all good now. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah I was uh you know I was just kind of worried at first that she was taking on too much but it's just amazing how she's allowed and just worked really hard for this to take over and uh actually quit her other job and just do this full time that's totally relatable Brian especially about being annoyed that she was on her phone so much at first I think every husband on this call could probably identify with that um so how about now? Let's go to the next question. Start with you, Mr. Wonderful. But Brandon want to go first. Brandon, do you want to go first? Take a seat, Brandon. Um, uh, what do you think now? So if you've heard it once, I know you've heard it uh, thousands of times. They say that leaders are born at convention. And so when my wife approached me about convention, I was super skeptical about that. Um, I was thinking, you know, well, we're going from this little side hustle, you know, mow your lawn during the summer to bring in some spending money. So now she wants to fly across the country to a, to a uh, arena in Las Vegas. Um, no, that's not going to happen. So the first time we experienced that was when she became a jewel. Uh, so we attended our first convention as an emerald. And to walk in and actually see firsthand uh, – that this was not just some online possible scam. Um, you know, if anything, just a little, you know, group of people who just trying to make some money to seeing thousands, I mean, over 10,000 people uh, in an arena where I walk in and I'm on the floor, you know, up in the front, because my wife's a jewel. And just to look around and see everyone, just the, just the adrenaline, the enthusiasm, uh, just you see the hopes and dreams, the belief, that all these people have um, who basically set aside this weekend and also possible financial strain on their, on their family to, to attend this event. Um, so definitely an eye opening uh, event for me um, to, you know, not only see the reality of what it, what it could be, um, but to also be able to, I guess, experience just the level of success my wife had uh, accrued there because up to that point, I was not involved at all with Plexus. We were actually building our first home at the time. So I was basically non-existent uh, around the home. So we finished our house and she comes to me and she's this dual status, which meant nothing to me. Um, I had no clue what was going on with our finances at the time. Um, and so to all of a sudden see the level of money she's bringing in 
um, was definitely uh, astounding, um, to say the least. So um, yeah, convention was definitely an eye-opening experience for me and definitely changed my mind uh, as to what this business and more particularly this company was capable of. Yeah, that's really good. So side note, if you're from Ludowisi, Georgia, you don't generally go to Vegas. Secondly, whenever I started building my business, Anthony started building our house. And by the time he got done with our house, nine months later, like we, we really didn't see each other much the whole time. It was like he was deployed. I was single mom and five kids. And when he got done building the house, I'm like, guess what, they have Emerald. Yay, ready to go to Vegas? Whatever that means. <laughs> he didn't know what it meant. So anyways, just a little backstory. So that definitely built his belief going to convention. Okay, Brandon, how did you get pregnant? What? If you weren't seeing each other, how did you get pregnant with number six? I mean, you know, it don't take but one time. (laughs) I think I was asleep. Ah, (laughs) Burn. (laughs) He is totally throwing me under the bus. All right, Brandon, your turn. Let me clarify the question because we're having a uh, conversation (laughs) over here. So you want to know like what, how he feels about Plexus now or what took him from like skeptical, annoyed about being, being on my phone, stuff like that to being more supportive. What, what, what's the question? So the question was, what do you think now? Anthony might've skipped ahead a little bit, but he can go ahead. Which, which question do you want to answer? The third one or the second one? He wants to answer it. I just, I just want to be asked a question that I can answer correctly per my wife's standards. I'm like, don't answer that. <laughs> what? Okay, well, let's so just I said, answer so Anthony, Anthony asked the question about belief. Let's go with that one. What built your belief? I what built your belief in place? <laughs> All right, what built your belief? From being annoyed and skeptical to being like, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, so I'm I'm not annoyed and skeptical anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so uh, sometimes I am still annoyed because when we make a five-hour trip to the beach, she's literally on her phone for six hours. I don't know how she does that on a five-hour trip, but she does it. But that's that's okay because um, because it's really helping our family. But anyway, uh, as I digress, uh, the I think the thing that that changed my mind and. <clears throat> made me have belief in in this company and and really more importantly in Chris Christina um she took me to Dallas uh to a leaders retreat right um and like 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 Brittany was talking about being from Louisiana I'm a a country redneck from middle Georgia I had never been to anything like this and I tell y'all this leaders retreat was it it was mind-blowing uh just the the place we stayed the Gaylord uh, the events that, that Plex has put on for everyone that didn't cost us a dime, the little bitty desserts that were just so delicious. Uh, <laughs> it was, it, it was, it they was. They made Brandon and, wiggle like this. I, I'm telling you, it was, it, yeah. oh, it was, oh. Um, <laughs> and it was during Halloween, y'all, and if you, if you don't know about this leader retreat, it was during Halloween and Plex has hired like a bunch of uh, actors to play zombies during the party. Remember that? I remember that? So, I mean, it was like 150 zombies walk around. Like I was half excited, half wanting to hit somebody. Like I wasn't sure what was going on. I was scared. Um, but it was, it was just a phenomenal trip. Plexus spared no expense to, to make sure that all of their employees uh, or their ambassadors, their leaders uh, were taken care of and, and, and knew that Plexus cared. And that really made me realize that Plexus cared. And maybe this is the place that my wife will find her real success. Um, not that she wasn't successful in the classroom. She was very successful. She didn't make any money. Um, so I think that's when my mind changed. And I was like, I can get behind this. Um, if it's going to be like this, when we're going to be able to party like this, have these kind of trips, and my wife's going to make money, I'm good. <laughs> Big difference between seven and thirty-seven dollars, huh? There's a thirty-dollar difference, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Brandon bougie. That's what hooked him. All right, Stooge, your turn. Well, my wife won't take me to convention, so I have nothing to say. She gets to go to Mexico. It's it's in your it's on your own best interest, Stooge. I, I feel a little bit left out. I didn't know men were allowed even. I didn't know they go either. <laughs> 
And like, don't leave me home with the kids. Listen. She took you to leaders retreat. Brandon <laughs> said, talking about leaders retreat. You did go right. to leaders retreat. What okay. did you think on that cruise? Like, at what point did you start to really recognize Michelle's about to like make some really big money here well, and like really get behind her with her business? Um, the, only, the first time I realized it was every year when I do our taxes and the income is basically doubled every year. Wow. For four years. No pressure, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Game on. I'm okay yeah. with that. Better, better double that sapphire income. Well, I did double it <clears throat> this year from last year. Yeah. I did double it. it she's it's I mean, doubled my every team. year for four years. Yeah. It's been, Let's keep that trend going. I got I the tax fun. thing to prove it. Yeah. Anything else? No, I mean, no, again, I mean, I, I never, I didn't, I never doubted the quality of it because it changed your life and you're not, you're not easily fooled. So, and I knew it was, just, I knew it was just a matter of time. This is a cool story. I remember when we were deciding to put our kids in private school and he looked at me, we were trying to decide. And he said, you know, we're, cause he's a, Adam, you and Stooch, you're simpatico, budget, <laughs> saving. As soon as we found out we were pregnant, he started the 529s. I mean, you know, all of it, right? And he said, you know, it's okay with that. We can pay for private school for one year without dipping into savings or anything. Can you handle it next year? Well, two months later, I started paying for it all by myself. Yeah. And then some. Every month. And so from that point on, I just kept giving him more and more and more. I think that built his belief a little bit more. So Stooch is like, show me the money. No, it was, it was really, it was freedom at every level of our family. It was freedom from the financial pressure for me to earn everything. It was freedom from the pressure on her to do homeschool, which she mm -hmm. had become weary of. And it was freedom on the kids that allowed them total freedom to go where they, they really thrived, both academically and spiritually and in every way to the private school we can now afford thanks to Plexus. Oh my gosh, chills. I love that so much. That makes me want to cry. Okay, Adam, how about you? I think- How'd I, you get from skeptical to where you're at now? Uh, it didn't take much. I mean, obviously as the paychecks, as everyone's talked to you, increased, it obviously built a lot of belief. I, I think the other thing that I've seen in the last two years is my wife is, has not been a public speaker. So she has, it may seem now that she's, she's good at it. She's gotten a lot better, but back in high school, we were saying the same age in high school, she had to introduce her parents and she mixed up their names instead of calling them Ken and Becky, she called them Ben and Keki. So it, it just, just, I'm so proud of her and just how she's grown and be able to talk in front of y'all and just uh, the mountain she's grown. She was a speech therapist before and when she come back from work, it was just, you know, sit at home and just a long day and just, it wasn't fun. It wasn't exciting. Obviously it was great working with kids and, and, and helping them, but it just wasn't, it wasn't building our, our family. And it was just, it was just very tiresome. So to see in the last couple of years her grow and uh, our family grow and get excited and get excited about trips. And I do listen to a lot of calls and I'll be honest, like it, it those have built my belief as well. So just the amount of work that you guys uh, put into the business and the effort and the community that you build, I, I think it's very similar. The community is everything. So I'm just uh, super excited. And, and that it didn't take much, maybe a little bit. The check obviously helped, but um, that's what did it for me. That's awesome. So the paychecks, the personal development that you've seen, the community, just seeing how hard everybody works. That's awesome. All right, Brian, how about you? Okay. Um, what builds your belief? Yeah, what built my uh, belief or changed my belief was actually a year ago, July 15th, I actually lost my job. So we, um, the crazy thing is the week before I lost my job, Abby and her team hit the Emerald rank and it pretty much just covered what I was making. So it was like my job, it was, didn't even matter anymore. So Abby and her team, the hard work they did just made it all with God's timing, made it perfect for me to stay at home and uh, take care of our three kids, which I never thought was possible for me to do, <laughs> but I really, I really enjoy it. So with her um, just ranking up and her, um, her team's success, I've been able to, to venture into a new career, I guess you could call it, that I never knew was possible. So 
Uh, it's given us so much time flexibility too. I mean, we can go on trips. We went to, we went, saw Adam in April over, what was that? Uh, Easter? We're spring. Spring break. We did a spring break trip. We've never really done that before. Um, it helped my, uh, my belief also changed too when I got away from uh, Abby and her phone calls all the time because Abby got her own <laughs> little office downstairs. So she, uh, I don't have to be around the phone calls all the time and, you know, stuff like that. But mainly when I lost my job and just with Abby's hard work and the income has just been amazing for us. That's awesome. All right. So we're going to kind of combine these last two questions. And some of you have already answered this partially, but what do you think about your wife's plexus business now and how has it blessed your family? So I went from being a total skeptic, you know, a, you know, little side income venture to a obviously legit form of uh, providing for your family um, and, you know, bringing about it, you know, the financial freedom aspect. Um, again, it's, it's a lot of, you know, networking that, that's involved with it. Uh, not necessarily a traditional aspect um, as far as brick and mortar is concerned. So again, convention changed my, my, my belief there. Um, it's credible, you know, um, it's legit way to make an honest, reputable living, honorable living. Um, you know, a lot of people think when they hear of, you know, MLMs that it's a scam, scam, you know, it, it's a way to cheat somebody out, you know, promising, but not delivering. Um, a lot of people, you know, in other, other areas of MLMs, you know, talk a good game. Um, overhype their products and this, that, and the other. Um, I mean, Plexus is definitely a genuine uh, company. Um, and as they've mentioned in the past, I mean, we're going towards a legacy company, um, which will be you know, a common household name before we know it. Um, so full on believer with, with the business model, also the company as well in particular. Um, and blessing our family, uh, obviously, the financial aspect, um, obviously with my line of work, there's just no way that I'd be able to bring in what she's bringing in. Um, I, mean, I, I gave up on that a long time ago, um, but I mean, that's okay. Um, you know, it's, it's not about who makes the most. Um, the fact is, is that we have uh, a source of income that um, has truly blessed our family financially um, to where, you know, even though we budget every month, so we know where our money goes every week. Um, the fact is, is that, you know, uh, something comes up, you know, a flat tire, you know, where you got to, you know, buy a new tire for some people. I mean, that's, that's definitely a game ending uh, situation, you know, that really just throws them into a spiral. Um, you know, your a AC goes out, you know, um, things like that, that pops up to where, you know, even though it may be frustrating, the fact is, is that you're not stressed out trying to find out what are you going to do to be able to repair that and move on, um, you know, small rural community, you know, our first house we moved into was on a septic system. So definitely not, you know, city sewer, city water, everything was private on, on your own property. Um, it went out on us. And so we were like, what are we gonna do? This is, you know, preplexes. We literally had to go and get a loan um, and, and went to several thousand dollars in debt just to be able to take care of our, of our sewage problem at our home. Um, I mean, you talk about a stressor, you know, just there's one more unexpected bill to now, um, I mean, Obviously, no one wants to just throw that kind of money around, but at the same time, you know, we have the freedom to do that and not bat an eye. Um, the opportunities that brought us for family, you know, I mean, obviously with education, you know, we're definitely particular about, you know, our education of our children. Um, and, you know, we've homeschooled, but now we're able to actually enroll them in, in a, you know, um, a, a private academy um, that we uh, are grateful for that our kids have uh, a great opportunity to be able to, to thrive um, as Michelle and the students have mentioned. So, I mean, it's definitely transformed our uh, line of thinking and how we view um, uh, trials or, or, you know, haphazards that may arrive. Um, but, but most importantly, I've, I've seen my wife grow. Um, just, you know, I see her in the early mornings when she wakes up. You know, she's in her corner with her lamp on studying, reading. Um, I see in the evenings after her calls, you know, reviewing all of her documentation, just the growth over the years has been phenomenal. And you see it day to day uh, with how she responds to things now. 
as opposed to how she responded to these things, uh, preplexes. So it definitely has blessed our family all around. Awesome. Thanks, babe. All right, Brandon, how about you? What do you think now and how has Plexus blessed your family? Okay, um, so what I think now. I mean, Plexus is amazing. Uh, we, I think we all know that. That's why we're here. Uh, the money is, is, is phenomenal. Uh, and for her to be able to make that kind of money while she's truly helping people, um, that makes it even better. Uh, she, helped, she helped me with gut issues. She, she helps everybody and she helps other people help everybody. So that is just, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to be able to make money doing something good for the world. Um, what was the other question? <laughs> I feel like there is like that is how has it blessed your family? A nice gloss over answer. Now I'm nervous. What? <laughs> um, all right, how it is changed, <laughs> how, how it's changed our life. Um so so Christina doesn't go to a classroom anymore, so she's home every day. So um when I get to work for home from home, it means we have uh, we get to have a lot more happy time together. Um, so that's, that's been a blessing. Um, that's, that's the biggest blessing in my mind, but maybe, um, it's, it's really just the freedom that the, the company and the business has provided our family. Uh, like Anthony was saying, we don't, we don't really worry if, if our air conditioner goes out. I mean, I, I do, uh, because I don't make that kind of money. She doesn't worry if our air conditioner goes out. Um, I got, I you that. <laughs> if, if we want to go to the beach, we, we go. Um, if Christina wants to go to Sam's for the first time in her life and spend $800 on snacks and sodas, she does it. <laughs> and, and she doesn't ask permission or my advice or anything. Um, so, I don't think that's because of Plexus, though. I don't I, think well, she asked your permission before. Listen, Plexus... <laughs> has done really great things for our family, but it's also created an online shopping addiction for my wife. Um, so, but that's, that's another group, another uh, support group that we're, we're a part of. Um, but it's, it's, it's given us the freedom. It allows Christina to help people and make really great money um, and, and, and more happy time for Brandon. And, and that makes me happy. <laughs> Listen, when I don't answer y'all's texts at 10 o'clock on Mondays and Thursdays, I'm telling you, that's why. Talk in the morning. Time. Got it. After team calls. Oh. <laughs> Stooch is like, um, Michelle. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's like, you don't take me to convention. You don't have an appointment after team call. No, she goes right to bed right after team call. <laughs> yeah, Stooch is like, where's my Plexus benefits? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to leave right now. <laughs> Get up with me, bro. Just text me. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So you you answered this question, yeah. Stu, what you believe now about Plexus and how it's blessed your family. But any last thing you want to add? Yeah, I would say that um, be, beyond what I already said, it's that she's she's had, I've seen gifts in her since the first day we met that were largely unfulfilled mm. since we had kids because it's, it's a long process, but we jointly decided to do homeschool here because it was really the only acceptable opportunity. And she did great for those years, but during the seven years, she laid aside other uh, aspirations, other gifts, other goals. They lay dormant. She sacrificed them willingly for our kids, but at the right time, in the fullness of time, as the Bible says, then Plexus came along and gave the answer to that. But it's not only the answer to the education, but it freed her to develop all these other things, such as leadership development, motivational, public speaking, networking, all these things that were all, always inside her but didn't have the outlet until Plexus came along. That's so good. She is thriving in these gifts at the moment. You should have seen her at convention last week. Why didn't I mean, you guys film it? I did not even think I had a baby. Otherwise, I probably would have thought these things. But the rest of y'all, y'all dropped the ball. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, she was fantastic. I mean, I, that's probably the best I've seen her. She was amazing. And I was so proud. I was crying. I was so proud. Me too. So she, her gifts are no longer dormant. Yes. 
All right, Adam, how about you? What do you think about Plexus now and how has it blessed your family? I think I talked to you a little bit before about how it's changed our life. I think personally for me, uh, Abby can attest to this in April too, but I was an energy drink fiend, uh, like one to two a day for a long time, a long time. And April asked me one day, she's like, how long do you want to live for? And I was like, oh, that's probably a good question. Uh, so I've been on active probably for the last two years. Since um, it and came out. I mean, I, I fly on a daily basis. I've never felt better in my life. I had a lot of allergies. Um, so I, my, my bag's packed. It's full, half full of plexus right now going to Vegas for a month. So, I mean, there's the belief right there. Um, <laughs> y'all, I, y'all last night, he literally was like, look at my plexus pocket. I have a full <laughs> pocket of all my products. <laughs> So he's pretty excited that they yeah. truly have changed his life. And I get angry if I run out on the trip. So um, if anyone's in Vegas and I run out, can you please send me some? But um, other stuff just now, how it's blessed us. Obviously the paycheck, a lot of people have talked to it. So uh, we're enrolling Josh in a uh, Christian school this this year. So that's that's pretty exciting for us because the public schools here are just not, not, not the greatest. Uh, and I think another thing too is just... Um, Brandon talked about too, April's home. We don't get as much happy time, I guess, as Brandon does, but um, I mean, <laughs> uh, which is which is nice. And, um, but uh, another thing too is just a travel. So just being able to spontaneously go to the beach and I go TDY a lot, temporary duty. So I used to go a lot and April would be stuck with the boys, but now she gets to go TDY and I'm stuck with the boys, which is great too. I get a lot of time with the two boys. So um, last thing too is just the giving aspect. So just because it's we're getting blessed as we're able to bless other people. So um, just in the last year, just I'm a big Dave Ramsey guy. So at the end, I just give back and bless people. So whether it be tithing, just giving back, church, community, people that need it, it's a, it's a big thing to just give back. So I think that that wraps it all up into a bow for me. So so speaking of Dave Ramsey, you mentioned earlier that you guys had some debt and that's why you were budgeting so tightly when you guys first got married. So can you speak to that now? Yeah, so we, I mean, she had... It was grad like school, 60 grand. dollars $70,000. So with vehicles and we did the same thing. <laughs> we crashed the car and I, so I crashed the car and we just, you know, put it, put it on a loan. So paid off now, uh, completely debt free. So it feels pretty good uh, to be able to save and just keep working towards our goals and uh, getting our kids ready and, and just giving back. And y'all, he's downplaying this a little bit. Like I'm telling you guys, the day we kept paying off my loan, like he's a little kid in the candy shop, like jumping up and down, like, oh my gosh, look at the loan go down. And I'm over here like, yes, more shopping money for me. So it's like, we, we differ when it comes to money, but it's a blessing. And just having that paid off has, like he said, opened the doors to, um, you know, giving more, or whatever it is that, you know, we need to do. She's the free spirit money person. I'm the nerd. So that's me. <laughs> well, good thing she's a diamond. Yeah, it works out. <laughs> she earned that free spirit. All right. Great job. How about you, Brian? What do you think about Plexus now and how has it blessed your family? I mean, it's blessed us beyond belief. I mean, I never thought like a year ago or ever in my life I'd have the freedom and the financial freedom that we have now. I mean, we paid off a brand new van in less than 12 months. We've saved over like 30,000 in 12 months. Um, I was able to go today on Monday, take my kids fishing. I didn't have to go to work. Um, I just, you know, just really enjoy being at home with my family. I love being with Abby. I love being with my kids. I didn't have, I mean, this is like in personal now, my, my dad and I didn't have the best relationship and now God's actually blessed with Plexus and I'm at home and I get to have the opportunity to be with my kids the most that, that I wanted growing up you know I didn't really have that but now I have that and I think part of it is because of Plexus um, I get to take more trips in the future I'm going to Mexico in September I, I went to um, Florida in January I got to do deep sea fishing which I loved and I can't wait to do it again <laughs> um, and just like my daughter actually like likes to come down and like pretend like she's working for Plexus. She'll sit at the desk with Abby and pretend like she's working and she, you know, she's five years old. So it's just adorable and cute. Um, just, yeah, just to see what Abby and her team and all everybody here has accomplished is just incredible. Um, and I'm actually liking that new blueberry drink. <laughs> 
um abby brought it what a week ago and i yeah i just really like it i've had it after working out and it's just been great too so i'm just excited for the future you know i want to go on mission trips someday i just want to give back like adam was saying we are giving back but i want to give back more and i just you know i'm just grateful for this company and for her team awesome well, thank you guys so much for sharing with us tonight. I think a lot of people are inspired by this. I'm pretty sure we built some belief tonight. And we're all very thankful that you got out of your comfort zone. I know it was out of my husband's comfort zone. I don't know about the rest of you, but thank you for being willing. And thank you for your um, kind words and for believing in your wives because it definitely makes things a lot easier when you're building a business to have the support of your husband and your family is behind you. It definitely helps. So thank you guys. All right.